Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a small gardening haul to share with you. Though Atlanta weather has been really bad and unpredictable, mostly for the last two weeks or so, I still wanted to get some gardening supplies so that I can use them for my indoor garden as well as some supplies that I can use for starting an outdoor garden. I don't have a balcony or any plot that I can use. I live in an apartment without a balcony. So, uh, but my friend has been very kind to lend me his backyard for uh, using to grow some vegetables this year. So I'm really excited. This is my first time uh, growing vegetables. So I hope I'll be successful. Um, so I got a few seeds and other things to help uh, start these seeds indoors and uh, I'm planning to transplant the seedlings over to his backyard once the frost date is over for Atlanta. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video and I'll show you what all I got. So these are the gardening supplies I've got. There are actually few more supplies that haven't yet been delivered to my house. So I hope to add them in at the end of this video. For now, let's see what all I have got. All these supplies that you see here, I have got from three different shops. So all these items are from Walmart. These are from Target. And all these are from the dollar shop. This is a seed starting tray. Um, it's called the Jiffy Professional Greenhouse and it has 25 spots uh, or cells. They are actually um, small round discs that you use. Um, you soak them in water so that they expand and then you plant the seedlings in each of them. This comes with a set of um, uh, plant labels that you can stick in uh, so that each row you can have a different type of plant. And also they have some nutrients with it. Let me know if you'd like me to do an in-depth video of how I start seeds using this tray. So I got some gloves finally from Walmart. I unfortunately threw away the packaging but these are the small size gloves and they're pretty tough. Um, I wanted to use these um, whenever I clean roots or uh, I need to deal with compost and such uh, things. I didn't want it to get into my nails. So that's why I got these small gloves. I also got two um, seed uh, packets. These are the hot peppers. They are a big Thai hybrid. And these are uh, also hot peppers, but they are called a piñata blend. Um, I don't know what these taste like. I'm hoping they're good. I've never seen purple chilies. So I wanted to try those out. Um, these are actually full sun and can be started indoors. So these are what I'm going to be starting um, to use in my seed starting tray that I just showed you. These are the standard uh, Thai chilies that are pretty hot. And as you know, most of the Indian people can use a lot of chilies in their food and they like it. So we are no exception and uh, I'm hoping that we'll get enough chilies to feed both my friends, family and us. So I'm optimistic about that. <laughs> um, now we're on to the supplies I got from Target. I got two seed packets from Target. Um, I love the look of these beets. Uh, they are the Detroit dark red medium top beets. They look really good. And the seeds are like big and chunky. They're quite huge inside. You can hear them. <laughs> um, these are also container friendly but they can be sowed directly into the soil so I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that whether I'm going to sow it directly or start it in a container um, I also got some carrot these are the Nantes half long carrots they are also organic seeds um, even this one is organic they are the burpee brand um, and they also can be started in uh, containers and planted in containers I'm hoping these will be good and they'll turn out well. Um, I finally got a pair of clippers. These are the Fiskars brand. They're 5 eighths of an inch and they are useful to cut branches and stems. I'm mostly going to be using this to prune my aero garden plants because the tomato plants are out of control. So that's what I'm going to use this one for. 
um this also has like a coated blade and so it stays clean even though sap and you know other sticky stuff gets on it you can just wipe it clean and it does not rust so i'm really happy i got this finally my last stop was at the dollar tree these are some of the things i got i got mostly decorative stuff from here but a few useful things as well so i got these rocks um from the dollar tree they were actually looking a little bit different when i got them uh, i kind of did the a little bit of painting using acrylic paint on them i can post a picture of these uh, to show you what they looked like before i got to working on them so this one says peace and um, the other one says hope i painted this one as well uh, the colors were looking really dull um, so i kind of just redid them with the same colors on top i was hoping to use these to cover some of the empty spots on my aero garden but unfortunately they don't fit on the aero garden uh, sprout the one that i have with the petunias um there's like no space left one petunia has completely taken over i'll post updates soon but these didn't fit in that so i might use one of them in my tomato uh planted uh, harvest the aero garden harvest but otherwise i might just find some other places to keep them um then i got some seeds from the dollar shop they have four uh, seed packets for a dollar which is a really good deal so this one is a roma tomato um they are also ideal for containers this one is a beef steak uh, tomato which seem to be really good for slicing and things like that so that's also the a good one to try i have never had much luck with sunflowers or seeds <laughs> flowering seeds so i'm anxious and excited about this but i got some of the mammoth russian sunflower seeds so i'm hoping they'll turn out well um these are some black beauty eggplant seeds um so they they look like they are of a good size not too huge and i hope they'll turn out well as well um then i got some flexible wire ties this is also uh, from the dollar shop and uh, i'm planning to use it in my garden when i need to you know tie uh, some of these plants especially like the tomatoes so that they don't fall over i'm planning to tie it to um, like the fence post and things like that uh, to balance the weight of the plant uh, so that looks useful um, then i have few decorative objects again this is a little gnome it's a flower pot hugger so i'm planning to use this in my snake plant uh, the pot i'll show you a video of what my garden looks like once i've put all these in these are also in keeping with the gnome theme i don't know what is with me and the gnomes this year but i just found them too cute to resist there are two gnomes sitting on a little seesaw that's pretty cute right so i like that we often get some cardinals um that visit us and sit outside our living room window so i got a little cardinal with a bird house to stick into one of my plants so this looks really cute i like the way it looks and it's it helps that it's painted in the back as well this is the last one this is a uh, actual like a metal pump with a bucket but this side is the surprise one it's got a little birdie i actually didn't see this in the shop i just bought it for the <laughs> pump and the bucket and then I, i i love birds so this is a really pleasant addition a good surprise and for the last object that i got this is a watering can i don't like the idea of using plastic this is not even bpa free i'm not sure what plastic this is made of this is from the dollar shop but i am planning to use this to top up my aero garden so i'm not going to pour water and let it sit in this i'm just going to pour it directly into this and then use this to top up my aero gardens 
because as you all know <laughs> the tomatoes drink up quite a lot of water each day and i'm really tired of having to you know take a glass and <laughs> fill it with water and go back and forth between the tap and the aero garden and top it up so i hope this will not add too many chemicals into our bodies but uh, i couldn't find a metal can a metal watering can of this size so i'll just have to use this one for now and hope that everything turns out well so here are some of my garden supplies in action please ignore the overly dramatic peace lily um, the leaves droop whenever it needs some water i've already watered it but it takes about five to ten minutes for the leaves to spring back up and come to life literally so my cardinal is in sp in its place here in the peace lily pot and now moving on to my indoor garden i'll show you a close-up in just a minute I've put the tap and the bucket one in this uh, succulent planter and the gnome is in the snake plant planter. Isn't he cute? And I have his other gnome friends along with my jade plant. So they're just seesawing away with the jade plant. I also kept the rock with hope on this side and the one that says peace is on this side I will share my complete indoor garden tour soon I am just waiting for the light conditions to be a little better so that you can see more of my plants I like how my little gnome garden looks on the windowsill. Let me know what you think about these garden decorations. Do you have any in your garden? Leave me a comment if you do. I just received this package. Um, I ordered these items from the Aero Garden website. Um, this was during their Valentine's Day sale and I just received them in the mail. So let's see what I got. I got this one liter um, plant food, liquid plant food from the Aero Garden website. That's a pretty neat size. I hope it'll last for me for some time. And unfortunately, <laughs> they kind of dumped these spaces into the box, I guess. But these are the Aero Garden slot covers. I just wanted to buy these and try out uh, because I have like way too many open spots and I didn't want any light getting in so I'm going to try using these in my gardens and I'll let you know how it goes thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this small gardening haul with me if you like this video and you want to see more such content from me don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel leave me a comment and tell me if you've started working on your garden for the spring season of this year. Let me know what you're planning to plant, both indoors and outdoors. I'd love to hear. So until my next video, that's all from me. Thank you all for watching again. Bye-bye.